Streets of shame have gone wildly unchecked. We've seen some homeless door, tents Oma. popping up with electricity, running water, some even big enough to block entire sidewalks. The I team's Joel Grover shows us tonight these increasingly large GRI tents King can come with a host of public also, health fun, and safety castle. problems. Well, here, check it out. City sanitation workers invited the I team to look inside this double wide tent that had its own working shower. A kitchen with a grill and a range hood, air conditioning, even a doorbell. The tent had electricity because it was illegally tapping into a nearby street light. When did these stop being our sidewalks? When did they stop being the public sidewalks? When the pandemic began, the city decided not to touch most homeless tents to try and prevent the spread of the virus. So tents have been getting bigger and bigger, like this one under the 101 freeway in Hollywood with its own slide. Nearby, we saw a tent with walls and a roof made of mattresses. In Venice, one tent had its own wading pool. Another That's tent had its months. own tiki bar. And we found no shortage of tents illegally tapping into city fire hydrants for water and into city... Bro, that's like wild to get upset about that. It's like they're literally living. They're literally living without shelter. Okay, they're living on the street. Like, do you want them not to take showers? Do you want them not to wash themselves? Do you not? Do you want them to? And the answer is yes. And even if it's like slides and shit, why are you covering it like this? The alternative is let them have houses. Okay. Does the world look all yellow? Like, oh, it's illegal. They're stealing the water, mother. It's a necessary resource to survive. Like, uh, who's at the door? Oh, no, it was just like, it was a delivery guy. But it, it's just like a one second uh, snippet that I got from Ring, like from my security cameras of him being like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but he's gone. A tent, a pool, 2K easy uh, rent in LA. Yeah, the other thing is like, <laughs> it's getting to a point though. It is getting to a point, however, where like the amenities that... Uh, <laughs> that some people have been able to create for themselves in the streets, which by the way, the main amenity of housing is still shelter. The, the main amenity of shelter is obviously still like protection, right? Protection of the elements, which they clearly do not have. But other than that, like it, it's gotten to a point where at the very least, like they have some fun shit going on. These street lights for electricity. They are doing things that are obviously against the law and dangerous. No one is inspecting, no one's checking. Some of these McMansion tents have flammable material. McMansion tents. Okay, fire in uh, tents is an actual problem. And the reason why I say that is because like in the old place I used to live, uh, there was like uh, on, the, on the block, there's like a load of tents, right? There's like a tent city. And twice, not once, twice they molotov cocktailed one of the tents and the reason for why i believe they were doing that is because you know there was some some internal drama Castle one year like a little bit of internal politics in the tent city and you know probably drugs uh, so <laughs> my man said mick mansion tent at least in my anecdotal experience like again it's yet another example that like yeah. this shit is not all that great okay living in a tent not exactly great okay not it's not sorry it's just not great so uh you can make it uh, as spicy and be like ah, it's a tent city whatever the f you want to talk about but ultimately it's still they're living in tents dude and it's not great and their tents can catch on fire Those inside you could house all of them though that's literally not true and also even though it's not true even if it was true I don't want to have uh, people that I don't know living in my house, dude. What the f Like, that's such a dumbass take. You don't even know if they want to live with me, okay? It's such a stupid bait. It makes me so mad, dude. It makes me so insanely mad when people make this uh, dumbass bait. Hitting bait more reliably. No wonder if people are homeless if everyone have your attitude. Yeah, dude, that's why I'm homeless because I have this attitude, right? What is this attitude? Give homeless people houses is the, the attitude that creates homelessness. Is that why? These guys are in the situation they're in because of attitude, right? Not because of like systemic issues, right? That's how it works. It's just your, it's an attitude adjustment. What a silly and simplified and just childlike way to live uh, your life and, and just exist. And when they go up in flames, like this tent under the 405 at Venice Boulevard, entire neighborhoods are put in danger. 
But the, the big tents create other problems, glasses. too. This encampment made it hard for city workers to access the DWP meter. The landlord says DWP employees refused to go near the tents to read the meter and threatened to turn off the building's power. They wanted my tenant to go do it for hey, them. Ajah. Lisa Rich owns that building, improves. which has I been surrounded been by a growing encampment Thanks that has caught do. fire, endangering the homeless as well as other people working inside the building. It's very depressing. That's real. The fire shit is real. It's like genuinely a legitimate threat, which is precisely why... It's a problem that needs to be handled immediately. And the handling of that problem is not going to revolve around just pushing homeless people to have tents in another part of the city that's far away from the wealthy people. It's to offer them shelter, okay? Permanent shelter. Holy f It's horrific. And some tents are now so big, they not only block the sidewalks, but spill into the streets. I think of the wheelchair-bound individual who does not have access to our sidewalks because oh, yeah, it's brother. blocked by Bro, this is perhaps the most like obscene way of covering this issue. It just straight up, the only reason, the only way that you could look at this story as this is if you just simply do not think that homeless people are human beings. Like Damn straight. they're like a not like a video brother. game creeper in your eyes. You know what I mean? In your mind. You're just like like motherfucker. Those are humans too. You're talking about the wheelchair bound person. There's like wheelchair bound homeless people too. What? Having a great time being in doctor. This is has. wild, dude. This is literally insane. What? Yeah. Do you think they're creepers, dude? You think they're just like NPCs in a video game? They're like, uh, you know, yeah. When you leave town, when you leave your townhouse, the NPCs might actually aggro on you. Watch out. If you out tense enough together, you can. If you put ten enough tense together, you can make a mansion. Though that's true. Dude, I'm, I'm glad that local news, once again, by the way, local news, liberal media, by the way, local news, no, news months, is definitely not reactionary, by the way. But I'm so glad that local news is once again, you know, doing brilliant and combative journalism by attacking the centers of power. You know, homeless people, okay? I'm always glad to see, ma uh, like, mainstream media, local news, just attacking the real villains of society, which are... People who are so down on their luck that uh, they got to a point where they're living in a tent and eating trash and using a fire hydrant to wash themselves. Bazinga. Those are the guys. Finally, dude. Finally. Something for me. I've been looking for this. I was like, who will speak out against the homeless people? What's next? Are we, are we going to start attacking children with leukemia? Five months and I still I think that's the next cup. step. What am I doing with my life? Happy 19 months subversary. Looking forward to 19 more. Hassle. No, 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 I was just being sarcastic, making fun of you saying homelessness is a cause of your attitude. Yeah. We need to free our sidewalks as, as if LA notoriously walk around. Yeah. LA, like, is notoriously one of the worst cities to walk around it. The entire city is designed like a Trader Joe's parking lot. Okay. We don't have sidewalks. Like, we don't actually, even without homeless people living on top of them. Okay. Wild. Children with leukemia take up 40% of the medical resources from treatment to hospital stays. Is it really worth if cancer is a natural process? More at 11. Exactly. Crazy. Why do you live in this stupid country? Because it has a lot of potential and I'm also a creature of comfort. Hassle, hassle, okay. Hassle. I just like, that's why I stay, I plant in a neighborhood and I just stay there. That's why I don't move around too much. I already came to America. That was it. That was like too big of a journey for me. I'm done with that. Okay. I'm done. I'm, As I I'm fine. It. That's I'm why I spend nine, literally nine all fractions. of my goddamn time sitting in my living room, basically like in my studio. 41.18 is expanding quickly through LA. Love and just like that, another life. swath of LA is marked for 41.18 enforcement city council members and their segregation of supporters criminalizing poverty block by city block. 168 locations criminalized today. So if 41.18 enforcement is like the homeless sweep, right? It's the sweeps. Now, afternoon hassle, um, hassle, hassle, hassle. Council by resolution may designate specific areas for enforcement against sitting, lying, sleeping, or storing, using, maintaining, or placing personal property, or otherwise obstructing the public right of way in order for a person to be found in violation. You can't be standing, dude. Wow. Whereas the below listed locations are experiencing need for enforcement against the above listed provisions, whereas city council uh, finds the public health, safety, and welfare served by the pro prohibition and further finds the sleeping or lodging 
within the stated proximity to designated areas is unhealthy. Months, let's go. Thanks um, for everything. Or incompatible with safe passage. And so they're they're like you can't you can have tents, you just can't have them near like schools. Okay, which on its face sounds uh is smart. You're like okay, well that's like not a great place to have uh, a tent. Except nowhere is Here's a great place to have tents. Stream, Lord, sorry, it's just like ask the people living in the tents. Okay, it's not good. Which is why the way to address this is not by literally going there with like a cleanup crew and arresting the people monkeys. and then taking away all of their like the crumbs that they have, like literal crumbs, which is the trash that they've piled up that's like personally important to them. It's by building housing. <sighs> anyway, okay, let's get back to the homeless thing. Tents. Like Under federal that, law, there has to be no. at least 36 inches between tents and the beginning of the street so wheelchairs can use the sidewalk. But as you can see, there's no room at all. Bro, come on, bro. This is literally the worst way to tackle this issue. The Beard routine reveal. Angelino's talking about how liberal and progressive they are. Angelino's talking about homeless people. 100% this is true. Straight up. This is actually true. This is literally so true. This is... It just don't say Angelinos though, Democrats. Like just Democrats in general. Straight up. Bro, how do you look at like the economic devastation that is straight up in front of your eyes, right? The economic devastation that is a, a manifestation of that economic inequality Let's is go, homelessness, lady. okay? And you're seeing it and it's right in front of your eyes and you treat it as an eyesore and then you turn around and you point the finger of blame at the homeless people. That's insanity, dude. That's literally no different than yelling at cancer kids, okay? I'm str straight up <laughs> insane. For wheelchairs to pass by. We can't simply- Mother don't give a f about ADA compliance too. It's always so strange. It's like, yeah, the only time- Hey guys, guys, hold on. Hold on. Uh, ne up Meta next. Like um, right guys. Immigrants are coming over the border in massive numbers. How will we house- are homeless veterans. You know what I mean? Like the only time they care about homeless people is if they can use them as a talking point against like, you know, uh, immigration policy. Felix? It was And nice. like Mexicans coming over the border, brother. Like that's why. That's, we, we have to have homeless people, dude. Because otherwise, like how will we use Another effective counterpoint to talk about, like, you know, they're using disabled people against the homeless, just like they use homeless said, people against the immigrants. A good it's just like, it's great. It's like a never ending Ouroboros of bullshit. Okay? Oh, man. Oh. We have the city turn its back, walk away, abdicate, and surrender its jurisdiction over the sidewalks. We emailed Mayor Garcetti's office eight times over the last month, asking to interview the mayor about these encampments at his soonest availability. His office said they're working on it, but still hasn't given us a time. What do you want to see the city doing? Just like they're still sending inspectors to every single business to make sure that they're following code, why aren't we doing the same with the public right of way? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this is the most Karen way of analyzing homelessness, dude. I'm sorry. It's like, why are we not enforcing zoning and, and code violations on people living in tents that are eating out of your trash, lady? The f*** are you going to do? Holy shit. Wild. If you really cared, you'd donate. Yeah, I famously don't, so. They tell homeless people to, uh, they hold homeless people to a higher standard of their own leadership. Yeah. There's a video coming out soon where I uh, publicly made one, and I can't wait for the immediate reaction to be, oh, wait, that's all? Because that's what's going to happen no matter what. And then when that happens, I will reveal even more donations that I've made. And then they'll say, still, oh, that's all? Or rather, he's doing it just for PR. So, you know, this was set up a long time ago, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, you already clapped him. Champagne Socialist Stock Account. Estella Lopez called the city over and over about that huge tent with the shower that was blocking the sidewalk. Sanitation workers finally came and took it down. No! Dude, look at the fucking ingenuity, dude. I mean, come on. This motherfucker was killing it, dude. He, like, literally made the most. He aggressively made the most of his dire circumstances. If they just smiled more, they'd be less homeless. Like, I do not have an issue with taking down these homeless encampments, okay? But you can't do it without making sure that all the homeless people living in them to the homeless. have permanent shelter, okay? Permanent shelter unconditionally uh, with 
no like extra conditions permanent shelter if you give them permanent shelter and they can cons uh, they consent to uh, leaving these homes they can take their stuff with them all this shit then yeah take them down obviously uh blady fan account would give to me 100 gifted subs which is wild <laughs> it looks like a rust base um if you really care to reform the revolutionary vanguard party poser i'm ready for war out here in iowa while you sit there doing what platform Platforming labor right activists, teaching millions socialist core values. Yeah, just bullshit like that. Anyway, hire them as engineers for the city when they do this level of creative technical solutions. Yeah, I mean, my man is just great. What? A lot of people will just end up on the street again. Even then, we shouldn't be tearing it down. Deal with homelessness first, then tear it down when it's not an issue. Yeah, I was making an argument for permanent shelter, dude. I know. <sighs> just like... I'm even more right about how to avoid the top of the hour ad break. That's right. If you'd like to no longer see the ads that come at the top of the hour, every hour, there is a 60 second ad break. All you need to do is subscribe. You can subscribe for $5, five Canadian dollars. Or if you're a true trickster, like the dragon of chaos, Good well, then you can subscribe for free by connecting your Amazon prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free prime subscription a month that's right okay eight dollars canadian sorry it's monopoly money you know it's fake well as long as you have an amazon prime account however you can use that as your twitch prime in here now you might not have an amazon prime account but your mother does your sister does your wife if you have one does in the traditional nuclear family you have a wife and your wife sense. someone else and sometimes the guy that your wife is f***ing, your wife's boyfriend, he has a Nintendo Switch. Other times you can, you know, steal your wife's boyfriend's Amazon Prime account and connect it to your Twitch account to get one free Prime subscription a month. Here's the ad break now. Jordan Peterson literally taught us how dangerous apple cider is. What have you ever taught people this on? This is true. I've literally taught nothing to people in comparison to... The incredible stuff that Jordan Peterson has taught people. Months, baby. Um, yeah, let's finish this homeless uh, story. Sanitation workers up. finally came and took it down. Even though that tent is gone, many other McMansion tents are popping up all across. This is the grossest thing I've ever heard. Calling people living in tents McMansion tents is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard, dude. You're such a liar. Lear, you claim to be a communist, which is dictatorship and Nazis. You keep never admit when you're wrong. You're so damn egotistical when you just think because you're rich, you can get away with anything, you capitalist. Hassle, hassle, hassle. Says Aisha Mufa. Time to bait us on. Time to ban this person. Yeah, greedy homeless people with their fucking McMansion tents. Um, speaking of homeless people, of course, uh, the Miami candidate Joe Corallo, who had a, a arrest for a violent domestic assault, uh, or, he or. is advocating for an adopt a homeless program. That's right. I propose the following today, since you know we're all. This is why I say debate lords need to be locked in jail. By the way, like this is why I am for criminal punishments, punitive measures that One are later. No longer a maybe uh, considered now to be extreme socialist. by some when they are debate lords because you let a debate lord grow, okay, and he becomes a fucking you know uh, uh, a county commissioner, and then he makes debate One lord ass baby, fucking arguments go. when he's in a position of power, and that's terrible. Your de your definition of debate lord is someone you find annoying. This is true. Well, it also happens to be all debate lords that I find annoying. Um, no, but like, seriously, it's so stupid. It is such a f insane thing to do. This guy is literally holding up true progress by like shifting the blame away from uh, the systems, which he has at least a crumb of power to change. And instead of using his crumb of power that he has to change the issues, he's turning it over to like the individual by using literally an argument that like idiots in the chat use all the time, which is, uh, huh, actually, if you want to save homeless uh, people, why don't you adopt them? I made it here without being timed out. Breaking, as he says, Ri Senator Thanks. Richard Burr had material non-public info regarding the COVID economic impact after Burr dumped stock. He called his brother-in-law. His brother-in-law called a stockbroker the next minute. Yeah. You know, these guys, they're productive, dude. Yo, I, I literally... Everyone knows that I actually do think that we should do a hard reset, like, straight up. Shares. I think, like, I think we should just, like, jail every congressperson by default that uh, engages in, like, stock trading. Just, just for funsies you know what i mean just to like just throw them in jail and then have Let new people laugh. i would rather have like literally the people that clean the toilet seats in congress run uh congress than these mother i'm not even 
And normally, like, there people will say, like, huh, what, you want the janitor to run the country or you want the janitor to run the corporation? Like, in this situation, absolutely. Hey, These guys are so bad and so unqualified regardless that, yes, I 1,000% would rather have all the sanitation people that work in Congress actually be the congresspersons in these mother it's not even a remotely a joke you know a little bit of training a little bit of on the job training what you really are an extremist i mean am i wrong am i wrong think about it what good are these people doing what good are these people doing for you what good the have they done for you at all you stupidly believe that that guy because he's in a position of power is smart you know what that's like that's like being eight years old and thinking wow, your wow, dad wow. is godlike. You know what I mean? Thinking your dad is like the smartest person on the planet, the most powerful person on the planet. No, mother. He's just the smartest and most powerful person around you. You see these dipshits on TV and you think to yourself, well, these guys obviously deserve to be there. Like, no, they don't. They didn't do shit. They're not smarter than you. Yeah, they don't know anything. Like they don't know more than the guy that's like uh, cleaning the toilets. They straight up don't. You are an extremist for your make all the custodial staff run the country position. I can't wait for an unironic post about this now. I back. I tore my Eklund, lost my will to live. Do you think it's fair to the lower working class who struggle to pay their rent while working full-time to give homeless? It's something I find myself having an issue with. I know it's complicated for sure, but wanted to hear your take. What? Fair? I mean, you, can, you give whatever you can. If you want to give, you give. I don't know what, like, fairness has to do with this. One year, baby, let's go. They not only do not provide a net benefit to the country, to the American citizens, but they also literally, like, actively harm people. Hassle, hassle, hassle. At least a janitor would have some proper perspective. Yeah, I mean, straight up. Anyway, um, okay, we're done with this bullshit. I can't watch the rest of this. It'll fucking make me lose my mind. All right, let's get to Tucker Carlson. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>